VFX supervisor Glenn Mellenhorst led the Melbourne team in reinventing Ted for the streaming series. It's been 10 years since we built Ted for the second film, Ted 2. So the technology has advanced quite a bit. The asset from the beloved Ted films was restored and then processed through our build departments. Model, texture, rigging, look dev, groom, to get it up to modern standards, explains Mellenhorst. One area that required a complete overhaul was the fur. Due to the volume of shots across the series, 2,400 shots delivered over a year of post-production, the team could not adopt the traditional method of caching the hair. We developed an in-house tool utilizing USD, which allowed us to generate and render the hair procedurally at render time, says Mellenhorst. This allowed us to quickly swap out any creative changes that needed to happen and eliminate the huge storage requirements that would have been needed from caching the necessary data. In addition to rebuilding Ted, the team also took on the task of de-aging him. Ted is a teddy bear but is younger or perhaps newer than we've seen him in the films. The series is set 20 years before his first film, so we had to think about how cuddly toys show their age, expands Mellenhorst. His fur looks a bit more plush, less patchy in places than in the films as it hasn't worn away yet. It's a subtle distinction but it was important to us that Ted as a character is tangible. He's not an evergreen digital asset. He will show age and wear just like a real toy would. Ted's size also provided a challenge for the animation team, making sure that he could move through a human-scale world with apparent ease. Keeping Ted abreast of live-action actors while they are walking together was tricky due to his tiny stride length, adds animation supervisor Nick Tripodi. Ted creator Seth McFarlane provided motion capture, video reference and dialogue, giving the animation team plenty of material for the initial setup and first pass of the shot. From there, the artist began to work into the keyframes to bring Ted's performance to life. We also regularly shot our own mocap in cases where either the brief changed, or Ted needed to move through space, walking, running, climbing etc. Finishes Tripodi, as a character, Ted has a distinct set of expressions, so when rebuilding him the team took care to ensure his face would move in a similar way as to previous incarnations. Ted is a unique challenge to animate, as he has quite a limited palette of facial controls, so we had to find ways to maximize their effectiveness, explains animation supervisor Nick Tripodi. For example, having static eyes meant we had to translate complex eye expression details into the way the head angle and brows work together, to not only have the correct eye line but also to deliver an engaging performance.